come to the BAFTA for single drama. To present this award, we have two of the stars from an American show. I don't know whether you've heard of it. It gets so little coverage in the media over here. The Wire, anyone? Yes, I know. It's exciting, isn't it? Uh, from one of the best television series ever made, we have representing the drug dealers, Stringer Bell, and representing the force of law and order, Officer McNulty. I wonder who will get the biggest cheer, the policeman or the drug dealer? Please welcome Idris Elba and Dominic West. <laughs> I think the drug dealer got that one. Uh, tonight's single drama nominations contained some of the most absorbing performances of the year. Hancock and Joan chronicled the love affair between Tony Hancock and Joan LeMessurier. Einstein and Eddington delved into the theory of relativity. The shooting of Thomas Herndall portrayed the, family, the family's fight for the truth and justice, while White Girl depicted the clash of cultures when a white family relocates to an Asian community in Radford. Should have done it in my American accent. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at that. Einstein and Eddington. What if God were to say you were mistaken? If he said stop, Newton is right. Then I would thank God for his point of view, and we would agree to differ, and I would be left feeling very sorry for God. White girl. No, 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 no! Get that thing off! Mom, don't embarrass me. Take it off! I can't, I can't you? The shooting of Thomas Herndall. Why were they firing at small children in the first place? And why did they shoot an unarmed man who was so clearly trying to see them to safety? Hancock and Joan. Never let me grow up, have you, Lou? I remember we went out for a drive once. We saw a train in the distance. She turned to me, she said, Ooh, look at the choo-choo puff-puff. What's wrong with that? I was 32 at the time. <laughs> and the BAFTA goes to White Girl. Uh, I'm Andrew Woodhead, the producer of White Girl, and uh, I'll keep this very quick. Uh, there's so many people to thank, but especially my team, or the team behind me, Greg Brenman, the executive producer, whose inspiration sort of began the journey, the brilliant script of Abby Morgan, um, Hetty MacDonald, wonderful director, and then a brilliant cast led by Holly Kenny. Um, in her first film, of many, I'm sure, and Anna Maxwell-Martin, who can't be with us tonight. Just the most wonderful crew and cast, uh, my line producer, Abby Buck, and maybe sort of w making uh, sort of low-budget films, you demand so much support from so many people, and so much of the community in Bradford gave us so much of their patience and invited us into their communities and their homes, and I am so grateful to them. And I think all of us are so proud of this. We, it was such a privilege being part of this film. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 